How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. And today we will be talking about expectations and reality. I am Kenneth Rodriguez with my friend Craig, and this is Geek Hot Fix. So, the Xbox Preview Showcase came in with lots of info and footage from previously unannounced games. Most of it was just pre-rendered videos or curated content, mostly cinematics. From Forza Motorsports, Ray Trace, 4K graphics running at 60 frames per second footage to the announcement of a Fable, Fable game, the show had its ups and downs. Some games look beautiful, I'm looking at you ever while, while some left the community feeling let down. The main culprit to this was Halo Infinite gameplay demo shown in the event. A lot of people had high expectations for this title and felt that what was promised was not delivered. I personally think that what was shown, which by the way is supposedly from an early build of the game, was really good. It had the Halo vibe to it. I feel that Halo has always been super colorful almost cartoony in the saturation of colors within the game. And to be honest, they said they were going to show gameplay of the game and delivered on that promise. New mechanics like the grappling hook and an open world seemed like a great idea for the series. But there was a moment in the presentation which people later used to attack Microsoft and its promise of serious power for the next gen console. Let's watch. Did you see it? No? Let's watch it one more time. Didn't see it either? Here, let me pause it exactly when it happens. And here he is! Craig in all his flat shaded glory. Even when you know where to look, you can't see the frame. So it took for someone to slow down the video to find this. And it became the ammunition for Sony fanboys needed to state that the Series X was not going to be powerful like Microsoft has been boasting. That a game running in a 1.8 teraflops console looks better than one running in a 12 teraflops console comparing The Last of Us 2 with this Halo demo. Apparently, we forgot about the bold people from Marvel's Spider-Man for PS4. Ugh. I still get nightmares about that one. But let's talk about this Craig guy for a second. First of all, like you saw before, that image is a blink and you miss it moment. You actually have to slow down the footage to get to the majestic Craig. Hello. And even then you must have not looked at what was happening before or after this single frame, a single frame. Again, personally, it looked like a Halo game, better than Guardians, and the main thing people is, are forgetting is that Halo Infinite is a game developed for the Xbox One, not developed for the Series X. But he said, Halo Infinite has been built from the ground up to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Yes, he said that it's been built from the ground up to take full advantage of the Xbox Series X. But he didn't say that it was a Series X game. This, again, is an Xbox One game. The part where the game will take full advantage of the new console is that it will be running probably natively at 4K and 60 frames per second. Not that it will create magically more grass on the floor or more light sources or more textures that were not programmed on the game. When this game comes out, it will be on a box for the Xbox One that you can play on the Series X without the need to purchase the game again for the new console because the Series X is backwards compatible. But you get perks of better resolution and frame rate. So basically a game for a console 
played on a better console but with better resolution and frame rate. Let's just see if we can think of another example of this same setting. Hmm, I got it. Let's watch this. So, as you can see, a game designed for a console, in this case the PS3, is being played on a more powerful console with a higher frame rate and higher resolution, in this case the PS4. Do you see extra things on it? Extra enemies or graphical effects? Was that comparison revolutionary? Did what you saw prepare you for a game like this one? You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. I don't think so. The difference here is that Halo Infinite, you don't have to purchase a second time to play it on the Series X, while God of War 3 Remastered, you have to buy it again to be able to play it on PS4. And Microsoft did the same by releasing Gears of War games on Xbox One, if you already own the original ones because of backwards compatibility, so basically you didn't have to buy them again. Well, the, other, the only one was uh, Gear... Uh, uh, Gears Ultimate. What still blows my mind is that we are still not talking how good Game Pass is for gamers. We will get access to new games same day, same day that it releases physically. I for one took advantage of this with Gears Tactics and now I am ready for a lot of games that I'm very excited for like Halo Infinite, The Medium and even games I personally wouldn't have tried like Tell me why or for some motorsports. See, expectations and reality are two different things. In the instance of Halo, you are playing the game with a better resolution and probably better frame rate, but don't need to fork another 60 bucks to be able to play it on the Series X when you decide to buy the new console. You don't have to pay day one. It was always on an Xbox One game from day one. Since they announced it, if anything, the next Halo after this one will be the one that will be created with the Series X full power in mind. Just like God of War was created for the PS4 and not just a remaster of a previous game. All in all, just because a company doesn't do or show what you thought they would do in the way that you imagine it doesn't mean that the company lets you down that the game doesn't look good or it does not play well it just means that you let yourself down by having unrealistic expectations so next time going with an open mind and you might be surprised at how much you enjoy the content if you like this video please subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the bell so Craig doesn't cry you can also find us over at facebook.com geekhopfix where I do streaming videos and post a lot of entertainment stuff. As always, I am Kenneth Rodriguez with my pal Craig and this was Geek Hopfix. Pop!